Today, we're exploring how to inspect Figma files so you can turn designs into production code. No matter what plan you're on or your access to dev mode, you can get the information you need. Let's take a look at how the World Peas development team inspects design files. World Peas is an online storefront selling organic produce. Andrew is a designer at World Peas. He's been working on the new product page, and now it's time for him to partner with the development team to turn these designs into code. Let's take a look at two scenarios. In one, Andrew sends the file to Jenny, a front-end developer who uses Figma all the time. She has a full design seat, which is a paid seat and includes access to dev mode, a collection of developer-focused features in Figma. She has edit access to this file. In the other scenario, Andrew sends the file to Sam, a developer who isn't in Figma very often. Sam has a free seat with view only access to the file. We're going to explore five common inspection tasks, viewing annotations or comments, measuring distances, generating code, viewing properties, and exporting assets. Let's start with Jenny. Jenny is going to implement the new product page and wants to get a feel for how the elements fit together. Jenny has a full seat in Figma design, which includes access to dev mode in any design file in the World Peas team. Dev mode is a dedicated space in Figma design for developers to collaborate with their designers and start building. If World Peas upgrades to the organization or enterprise plans, Jenny could use a dedicated seat for just dev mode. Dev mode is included with full design seats, but is also available as a standalone paid seat for people on these plans who don't need the design features of Figma design. Let's take a look at a few ways Jenny might inspect these new designs. Jenny starts by toggling from design mode to dev mode. She can see a few sections are marked as ready for dev. This helps Jenny know where she can start building and what might not be quite ready yet. Andrew has left Jenny some notes to highlight specific behaviors and properties. Annotations in dev mode let Andrew draw Jenny's attention to some key features in the design. To check the distance between the product description and the product image, Jenny selects the product description box. She can see padding values, including variables between the two objects. Jenny wants to grab the CSS for the typography, so she clicks the type layer and then takes a look at the CSS in the inspect panel. She changes the unit settings to REM to match the company's style guide. How about the add to basket button? There's an icon on the button, which is new to the World Peas design system. Jenny wants to see what properties this button has and what states it needs. It looks like this button has a few different properties, including an icon to the left or right of the text. Jenny opens the button in the component playground to explore how the component works in different states. There are some new behaviors here she'll need to account for in the code component. Jenny wants to grab a copy of the new icon, so she clicks the basket icon and downloads a copy from the inspect panel. These are just some of the ways developers can use dev mode to inspect files. Dev mode has lots of other capabilities like plugins to connect popular dev tools and an integration with VS code where developers spend a lot of their time. Check out the guide to dev mode in the description for more information. Now, let's see how Sam can inspect files. Sam is an engineer working on a new system for employees to upload products to the website. With a free seat and view only access, Sam doesn't have the same features available as Jenny in dev mode, but they can still inspect the designs. Sam can see that these sections have been marked as ready for development. They're particularly interested in this rich text field where people can input product details. Andrew has left Sam comments about the behavior of the text field. Comments are an effective way to partner on designs, discuss implementation considerations, 
and stay in sync during the process. Sam wants to check the distance between the formatting options in the toolbar. They select an item and hold down Option or Alt on their keyboard and hover over the next item to measure the distance between them. To quickly implement these formatting options, Sam wants to grab the relevant CSS. They select a button, right-click, and navigate to the generated CSS. They can paste this directly in their style sheet. Sam wants to understand the layout of the first option a bit more. They click it and can see all the relevant properties in the right sidebar, like layout, color, styles, typography, text strings, component properties, and variables. All the properties live in the right sidebar, although accessing them is slightly different if Sam has edit access or view only access to the file. With view access, Sam can see all the properties as read-only values in the Properties panel. With Edit Access, properties are editable values in the Design panel. Sam wants to grab the Alignment icon as an SVG. Like viewing properties, this view changes for people with Edit or View-only access. They can select the icon and add an export configuration to get the asset they need. And that's it. No matter your plan, seat type, or permissions to a file, everyone can inspect designs to get the information you need to start building. Ready to start inspecting? Check out our full breakdown of common inspection tasks in the guide linked in the description below. See you next time.